Hey everybody, good to join you today. Great to be with you for this segment of Ask Pastor Dan. I want to thank you. you. You've just kept sending in wonderful questions and today we have another great question. And the question is, what is Lent? Well, when we, we think about the season of Lent, uh, the first thing I'd, I'd like us to, to touch on is the origin of when Lent, when Lent began. And there are some theologians, some uh, historians that believe it started as, back as far as the uh, third century AD. And the, the church was looking at some ways in which we could prepare our hearts and prepare ourselves for Easter. They wanted people to, to think about it, to concentrate on it. And for Easter not to be something that, that just uh, they just kind of fell into, but, but something they worked up to. And so, as I said, some historians believe it started as far back as about the third century AD. Now, the second point I would like to make about what Lent is, is the idea of what you and I should do with Lent. Um, as, our, as our roots talk about, it was to be a time of preparation for the Easter season. Well, it begins with Ash Wednesday, and we put ashes on our forehead for that. And Ash Wednesday is a time where we repent and we think about ways in which we can focus on God. And then we enter into that season of Lent. And in the past, a lot of people have felt very comfortable giving something up for the season of Lent. Um, and you may have grown up as I did and had friends that gave up chocolate or uh, gave up television or gave up reading uh, comics or stuff like that. Um, and today, as adults, we, we may find people give up coffee. Uh, again, they may give up television. They may give up the internet or Facebook, which isn't always a bad thing. And so the first thing a lot of people think about with, with Lent is we've got to give up something as we prepare uh, to work toward Easter. And it's a way of giving adoration or devotion to God as we prepare for the Easter season. What I would like to encourage us to do is not only give something up, but I would like us to embrace something uh, as we give something up. So embrace something that will help us to grow closer to God. I'd like to talk about some options for that right now, ways in which we can grow closer to God. You know, there's some means of grace that our founder in Methodism, John Wesley, talked about. And means of grace were basically things that could be embraced which help us grow closer to God. And he talked about things like worship and a devotional life, a prayer life, and of course communion and baptism were things that were all a part of a means of grace for us to grow closer to God. What I would like you to think about as we enter the season of Lent is not only what could I give up, but what could I add in my everyday life in order to help me to get closer to God. Maybe you have a devotional life right now, uh, and, and maybe you could add another segment uh, to it, maybe uh, day or morning time and night time. You might want to do more devotional time. Maybe prayer time. Maybe, maybe you're not a great prayer, and you would like to be able to spend more time just talking with God in an element of prayer. Maybe you're good at devotions and at prayer, but you'd like to do some kind things, charitable, loving, Christian things for people as a way of demonstrating your faith and growing closer to God. You could think about what things could I do? Uh, could I send an email? Could I send a card? Could I make a phone call to people in my family or my church that might just need looking after or encouragement? You know, in the, these days of pandemic, people are looking for encouragement. So you might ask yourselves, what could I do? I know here at uh, Swartz Creek United Methodist Church, we need help with our, our food distribution on Tuesday and Friday. And Lent would be a great season to come out and be a part of that food distribution. If you'd like to do that, just give our church office a call and we'll get you set up for that. So as we maybe subtract something in life, I think it's equally important to add something in life. And I can't believe I almost left this out. Church attendance is a great means of grace of growing closer to God. And that can be done, of course, uh, here in person with some limits, or it can be done by streaming it. So anyway, as you think about that, I want you to think about ways in which you can add something to your life to grow closer to God. And finally, 
I just want to share one last thing with you, one last aspect uh, of the season of Lent. And in the season of Lent, it's not a legalism. It's not a, do I have to do it? Or what if I miss a day, or I slip up and I drink coffee, or I miss a day where I don't do my devotion? It's not like that. It's simply meant to be a tool that helps us to grow closer to God. I don't want you to think of God sitting up in the sky with a hammer waiting for you to take a sip of coffee on the wrong day and then all of, all of Lent is blown. It's not like that. God simply wants to use something like this to let you know he's reaching to you every day. And he hopes that through this kind of discipline, we realize how important it is to reach to him, reach for him, and we also discover Life feels different when I connect with God intentionally on a daily basis. The 40 days of Lent will show you how important that can be. So I hope that's something maybe you take part in this year. I hope you notice the change of those disciplines in your life, those means of grace, and I hope that God blesses you as you take part in that. Let me pray with you now. Oh God, we thank you so much for the season of Lent, for it leads us to the day of Good Friday and the day of Easter, the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray, oh God, that if we choose to take part in this, help us to truly see, perceive, and feel the power of the Holy Spirit reaching into our life through this time of devotion. We ask this and we pray this, in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And may God lead us and bless us. In Christ's name we pray. And may all of God's people say, amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day. Be careful of the snow outside. And I hope you take part in Lent and you find it to be very, very meaningful. We'll see you next time.